Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Sriram, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I protect my high-risk users with the Advanced Protection Program? The Advanced Protection Program, or APP for short, is meant for Google accounts belonging to individuals who are at high risk of targeted attacks. People like business leaders, activists, journalists, staff on political campaign teams, super administrators, or other users in your organization with access to sensitive data. By targeted attacks, we mean attacks that are highly customized to individual recipients, almost handcrafted, if you will, to fool more automatic protections that may be in force, and also the individuals themselves. If you are a high-risk user, then this could even be a phishing email from a government-backed actor. Google recommends the Advanced Protection Program for users of this security profile. The APP was originally launched with support for consumer Google services. It is now also available for enterprise accounts. As of October 2019, it is in open beta, and as an administrator, you can choose to have APP enabled for some or all of your users. In the rest of this presentation, I'm going to tell you more about what it means to be in the program and then follow it up with a quick demo so you know how to get started with enabling APP for your organization and users. So let's start by looking at what it means to be in the Advanced Protection Program. The APP essentially consists of two pillars. The first pillar of Advanced Protection Program is that it is a curated list of strong security policies. Here we see the four policies that are included in the APP today. The first one is that it mandates the use of security keys for authentication. Secondly, it restricts the kind of access that some third-party applications can have to the user's account data. Thirdly, accounts in the APP get deeper Gmail scanning. And finally, if the APP user is also signed into Chrome, they get additional warnings from Chrome safe browsing. These are just the four policies that we have in the APP today. The second pillar of APP is that it is a program that automatically upgrades, which means that once a user is opted in, they continue to get the benefit from the latest protections without any further intervention from users or admins, when Google adds more protections to keep up with emerging threats. Now let's look at a quick demo to understand how you as an admin can enable APP for your organization. As an admin, the first step you would take is identify the users who are at high risk of targeted attacks and create an organizational unit to contain these users. Once you've done that, you would navigate to the security settings page in the admin console. In the security settings page, there, is, there will be a new tab called the Advanced Protection Program, which is in open beta at this time. You click on that. In the Advanced Protection Program tab, when you click on it, you would see a familiar OU tree on the left-hand side, and APP-specific policies on the right-hand side. You would select the organizational unit on which you want to operate. Here, we have selected the root OU, meaning you want to enable enrollment for your entire organization. And then you can enable user enrollment for that OU. And then you could click Save. Another way to do it is just select the OU containing your, your high-risk users, and you could enable user enrollment only for that OU. The choice is yours. You would also see a setting here called allowing users to use generate security codes. This is required in case some of your users need to use legacy applications that only work on some older browsers where security keys are not natively supported. Once you allow enrollment, you have to communicate to your, to your users that they may self-enroll. Let's look at how a end user self-enrollment process works. This is a user in their Gmail. They've signed into their Google account. They first have to navigate to the landing page for the Advanced Protection Program at g.co slash advanced protection. And then click on Get Started. It's a simple three-step process that first requires them to register two new security keys. At this point, it's important to remember that even if the user has security keys on their account already, they will have to present them again so that the user starts with a clean security slate. 
So let's assume that at this point, you have procured the security keys and distributed to the users. So the user would, would click on register key. So at this point, we're making a sensitive operation and so the user is prompted to enter the password again. Once the user is authenticated, they would add the first security key. At this point, I'm going to insert the security key and press and, and tap it. And then add a second key. I'll tell you in a moment why we need two keys. There we go, the second key is also registered. The reason we need two keys is uh, if a security key is not available for sign-in, the user may get locked out and they will have to reach out to you, the admin, to let them into their account. So two, having two keys with them allows them to uh, work around uh, in case one of the keys is misplaced or lost. So once both the keys are registered, uh, they essentially are shown a list of things of what will happen to their account, and then they can just complete the enrollment process. Once the user is uh, enrolled, all their active sessions are revoked so that they can again sign in and start their session with a completely clean security state. So the user entered the password and is now prompted for one of their security keys. It doesn't matter which one. They just have to insert one of the two security keys and tap it. And now they're signed in. If the user at any time wants to opt out of advanced protection, they can go to their myaccount.google.com page and then click on unenroll. In addition to the user themselves managing themselves like this, as an admin, you also have some additional tools to help the users while they're enrolled in the advanced protection. Let's switch back to the admin console here and let's navigate to the user's individual page. Here, in the security section of the user's page, there will be a new tab that says Advanced Protection and is shown on. Also, you will notice that in the card on the left side, there's a new label called Advanced Protection to tell you that this user has enrolled in the Advanced Protection program. If for whatever reason you want to unenroll the user from Advanced Protection, you can still do that in the admin console like this by clicking on Off and then pressing Save. These are the tools that you have for managing a user in the advanced protection program. You will also get audit logs every time a user enrolls and unenrolls from the program. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud Experts.